Hi, this is John Miner. I'm a banjo luthier from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, a major part of my business is restoring uh, vintage banjos and banjo ukuleles, etc. I've been doing it for about 50 years. And uh, one of the more common problems I see is the dowel has uh, bent or moved and the action is a mile high. And uh, you can either replace it with um, coordinator rods or uh, pull the dowel out and reset it, which is a pain in the neck. And I've recently discovered uh, an easy way of doing it, and uh, I'll show you how I do that now. Now, I'm using a really dodgy $16 eBay tripod, so I think when I drop it down, it's going to go all over the place, but here goes nothing. I take, hope you can see that, uh, I take the dowel, and I grind down or sand down one end uh, and uh, to a uh, I'd probably sand it down about uh, 20 percent the other end I just clean up then I take a banjo resonator bracket drill some more holes in it there I'm going to use epoxy, so this will give it an anchor. Uh, dr drill a few more holes there. Uh, clean up the inside, just so it gets uh, uh, a better grip. And I do the same on the shallow side of the dowel. So I drill holes in there. Then what I do, and this is very important, you put this in the banjo first, because uh, once it's once it's uh, the bracket is on, you can't get it in the, uh, the banjo, obviously. So you've slipped it in the banjo, you, you use epoxy and epoxy that on, like so, clamp it up, leave it for however long you leave your epoxy, and the result you get should be this. I've got Alexa talking to me now. Um, it clamps in, like so, which... I don't know that one. Yes, Alexa. It gives you an adjustment uh, up and down. If you need a different adjustment, you can always put another hole in the back. And that's obviously screws into the, uh, the, the bolt that holds the tailpiece on. Now that will drop the action down to exactly where you want it. There's nothing tricky about it. Uh, I'll just run through here again. Make sure you can see it properly. You can see the top uh, notch I've put in. It's just so you can get at the nut and give you the full adjustment on the, uh, the resonator bracket. So I hope that helps. Please don't send me emails uh, and what have you. I, um, I get so many emails from my uh, Steam neck reset solution that I just don't have time to answer them. So I hope that helps you and uh, good luck.